Good morning. Uh, welcome to uh, English Talk. Uh, I hope you had a good sleep. So we are here uh, to help you uh, improve your English. Uh, please uh, stay tuned for next 40 minutes. Uh, we are uh, live on Facebook and uh, please uh, you can share uh, your comments and you can share uh, this uh, program uh, to your friends as well uh, so uh, that they may be also helped and uh, helpful to others uh, so please uh, feel free to uh, share your uh, comments and uh, your problems uh, or any help you need, uh, especially for English. And uh, you can uh, put your questions and comments uh, on the uh, comment box. So uh, here I would like to uh, focus uh, today, bring to you a few fundamental questions. Uh, about uh, English, how to uh, you know improve English, or what are the challenges that you uh, face while speaking English, or how to uh, talk confidently and uh, fluently, how to uh, speak fluently in English. So you must have some questions with you. So uh, here I have some fundamental questions. Okay. So maybe you can uh, note down and uh, uh, think about, okay? Uh, so, and uh, help others also. So, okay, first question is, why do we need English today? Okay, why do we need English today? Well, the answer is because it is an international language, okay? It is an international language. So we can think about, okay, this structure, okay? Uh, and um, I may be asking you some quiz, uh, okay? Um, and uh, you have to just write in your comment box what you heard from me. So that will be your listening test. Because English has four areas you need to, four dimensions you can call, or four areas that you need to focus while learning English. So number one is listening, okay? You got to listen, number one. And next is your thinking. Okay, uh, thinking, processing, okay, in the mind. And then uh, you also need to think now speaking, okay, after processing, you need to think about speaking. And then writing, of course. And what you have written, you must be able to read as well. So you can see. So listening, I say, and then thinking, okay, processing in your mind, and then speaking. What you thought in your mind, what you think in your mind, and then uh, you need to speak out that, okay, and then write that properly, and then read as well, okay, uh, with the proper pronunciation, authentic pronunciation uh, that uh, meets international standard, okay. So uh, that's why, okay, um, we need English. So. And I told you it is an international language, so we need it, okay? Without English, we cannot deal with international context. So we, without English, we cannot deal with the international context. You cannot deal with the international context. You cannot uh, really deal. International context means if you um, handle with a cell phone, so you need English now, you know. And if you're dealing with a computer, you need English now, you know. And if you travel, okay? And then, um, then only you can articulate uh, something, okay? You can just um, make sentence. So that's how, um, you know, you can really help yourself improve uh, your English. So the next thing is, um, okay, what is the language? Now, the, the, another question I have is, what is the language, okay? So what is language? You can think about what is language you think, okay? So what is language in your understanding? So 
language, it is a means of communication. Simple, okay? It's very plain. Uh, it is a means of communication, okay? So today's, um, my focus is for intermediate level, okay? Uh, or it may be a little bit upper intermediate. So anyway, uh, so, you know, I don't talk here in English. So those who don't understand me, uh, this level, who don't understand this level, they need to join uh, later, um, uh, that is noon class. So that will be there. I will be speaking in English, uh, Nepali a little bit, a uh, few Nepali words I will be using. Otherwise, in this class, the morning class, so uh, I will be only talking in English. So you got to uh, tell me if you are getting what I'm saying, okay? If you understand my accent, okay, if you are really having a hard time, you need to just tell me, uh, please say again or pardon me, um, okay? Uh, so explain that again, okay, just uh, uh, clarify again, okay, so you can just uh, write in the comment box, okay, so that way you can help yourself more, so, and, uh, okay, so I said what is language, so that, that's on the question number two, okay, what is language, okay, so it is a means of communication, okay, it's a means of communication, and how can I speak English fluently, okay, how can you speak English fluently, okay, how can I speak English fluently? How can you speak English fluently? Well, there are uh, some discipline. There is some. Uh, there are some disciplines. Okay, the you know the ways, the you know the pattern that you need to follow. Okay, to be able to speak English fluently and sounds natural. Okay, natural, not just artificial. Okay, but natural. Okay, uh, so uh, so my question was, how can you speak or I speak English fluently? Right. Uh, you may have that question with you. Many students, they ask me, because I've been teaching English for the last uh, more than 15 years. And a uh, lot of students, they ask that question, okay? So, uh, as an English professional, so I need to tell you that. And I know what are the questions and what are the problems uh, the students, they are facing the English learner, okay? Uh, they face. So, here is, uh, okay, uh, so the, how to um, speak fluently, okay? So, uh, okay, uh, my advice is this, okay? Take interest, number one, take interest, okay? Uh, number two, uh, be familiar with the English uh, words, I already said, I think, right? Be familiar, okay? Be, you must, you need to know all those words, okay? English words, okay? Um, so that you can really, you know, uh, be familiar, okay? So, understand something, okay? What do you need to understand, okay? So, and then next, uh, word spelling, okay, the spelling of the word, okay, how you make the spelling means like A, B, C, D, and all those words, they are spelling, okay, and then uh, you need to uh, know the meaning, meaning of the word, without meaning, you, your mind doesn't, doesn't understand anything, okay, so you need to know the meaning of the word, okay, so once you know the meaning, and then proper pronunciation is must, okay, you need to uh, uh, be able to pronounce the word Properly, otherwise, uh, international people or uh, people in the international country they don't understand you what you mean. Okay, you what you are trying to say they may not understand unless they see the context. Okay, so you need to um, uh, be very um, careful on that. Okay, so next um, grammar. Okay, so grammar you need to also uh, because that is the uh, you know. Very important. That is very important. Without grammar, you can't think of English uh, speaking, okay? So, many people think uh, they don't need grammar for speaking. Well, uh, speaking time, you don't care about grammar. However, you need uh, the skill, uh, the knowledge, understanding, okay? The idea, okay? So, you need that, okay? Without that, you can't really do job well, okay? Uh, and then, enjoy, okay? So you must enjoy English. If you don't enjoy speaking, then really you cannot really speak, uh, you know, like a native speaker. So you need to take interest, okay? And you need to enjoy it, okay? You, need, you, you, you must love it, okay? You must like it, okay? So that you can really um, sound natural and you can really uh, feel good, you know, and confident and you don't make a mistake, okay? So, uh, that's uh, very important, okay? Now, question number three I have, what is grammar? Okay, you may have a question. So, what is grammar? So, grammar is simple, very simple. 
The grammar is a rule of language, okay? It is simply, it is the rule of language. It is the rule of language. So rule, okay? Uh, without rule, nothing runs, okay? So you must have a rule uh, to run anything. Even to run your family, you need a rule. Okay, to run your society, you need a rule. And to run a company, you need a rule. And to run a country, you need a rule. To run the world, you need a rule. To run this universe, you know, there is a rule, okay? So, without rule, nothing runs, okay? So, this is um, um, a rule for language, okay? Grammar is a rule so, for language. And then, uh, okay, so let me provide you helpful guideline to catch, okay, help you, okay, to, to catch fast, okay? What I'm saying, to catch fast. So, you need to be very careful on those things, okay? So that... Then only I will start today's, okay, a few things, um, okay, uh, and then uh, help yourself, okay. So now, ready? Okay, if you want to note down, note down, okay. Uh, there are, you know, help lines, okay, guidelines, okay, you can call guidelines, okay. So guidelines are, here we go, okay. So mm, number one, okay, number one, so how to improve your English, right? You want to improve your English, right? You want to really help yourself, right, and help others, right? So if so, you got to, you know, have a note and then write down the rules, okay, or the guidelines, okay, guidelines to help yourself and help others and speak confidently, okay, and learn fast, okay. Uh, it's a quick learning, you know, a method, you know, it's a quick learning rules or discipline or, or whatever you call it, okay. So number one, number one rule is, rule number one is listen to the teacher, okay, carefully, you got to listen, what I'm saying, what I'm speaking, okay, uh, the words, okay, all, everything, you got to listen, okay, you got to listen carefully, full attention, okay, this is called paying full attention, when you pay full attention, you can, your mind or your ear, your ear will get Everything that teacher uh, speaking and you are hearing, everything will be stored in your mind, okay? This is your computer, CPU, okay? Uh, okay, it will be stored here, okay? When you listen, everything the teacher is saying carefully, uh, it goes in here, okay? And then later on, okay, it is saved and then now you can use it, you know? So, you need to listen carefully, okay? Number one, formula number one, okay? Guideline number one is to listen carefully. And next is make note of new words or expressions to you. Okay? So, uh, you find new words. Okay? Today you hear some new words maybe. Okay? Uh, not familiar to you. Maybe. Okay? Uh, so you got to, you know, uh, make note of that, those words. Okay? Least. Uh, you know? And then... Uh, expressions. Maybe um, I may be using some expressions. You know, like "Hi, how are you? How's everything? Good? How is it? Oh, great! How was your day? Did you sleep well? Wow, great! Hmm. Oh, you had a drink. Was well, it a bad drink? Oh, good drink. Oh, great. So, okay. So, these are expressions, okay? Uh, so, different expressions, okay? So, you need to note down, okay? And also see the context. What context, okay? And how uh, it is expressed. How teacher is expressing something, okay? So, how teacher is really saying something, okay? And that's very important, okay? So, expression, okay? So, you got to note down, okay? And so, therefore, I'm telling you, you must have a notebook. Okay? If you're serious, if you're not serious, just you want to listen, that's fine, no problem, it's up to you, okay? But it is better if you have a note, because later on you can review yourself and then help yourself, you know, firmly establish the learning, you know? And that's good for you. Okay, next number three is pronounce the word properly, okay? They say you need to pronounce the word, okay, the word, the English word, properly, okay? So if you don't pronounce the word properly, you really can't communicate. People don't understand you. They can't understand you, okay? 
I have, you know, um, even uh, I've been a uh, teacher for so long, and when I was in America, but even in Europe, okay, in, in England, you know, uh, people had uh, difficulty understanding my accent, you know. So, um, sometimes, not most of the time, but sometimes, okay. Because uh, the British people, their accent is so strong, and I had understanding there more. It's I had understanding, uh, you know, problem understanding their accent because uh, the British accent is very strong, okay. And uh, but American um, accent is a little bit different, okay. It's a very noisy, okay. So um, I didn't have much problem understanding their accent. However, I had a um, little bit problem understanding the British accent because they have very high accent, okay. So, you know, it was good. Um, anyway, it was good. So, so better be, you know, familiar with the, you know, natural accent and that way you can help yourself, you know, better, you know, you understand people better, you know, you can communicate better, you know. So, that's uh, very important, okay. That's uh, number uh, three, I say, right. Uh, so, the guideline, I'm giving you guideline, right. So, number next is observe the context carefully, okay. Uh, to understand, okay, the meaning of, okay, okay well, some words may be strange to your mind. Uh, so, when you observe the context carefully, okay, when you observe the context carefully, so that way you can help yourself understand, okay, uh, because uh, some words you may not find uh, in your uh, translation, some words translation you may not find, I mean, in your local language. In your local language you may not find words, okay. So, how to understand that, okay. So, you need to see the context. So, context helps you uh, understand the meaning, okay? So, that's uh, number four, okay? Observe the context carefully, I said, right? Number five, okay, that's last, okay? Uh, guideline number last, okay? Be frank to ask questions if not clear, okay? If um, what you heard from somebody, okay? Or even your teacher, okay? Be frank, okay? You, you, you need to be open, okay, and be friendly, okay, uh, so as an English speaker, okay, as an international, uh, you know, language user, okay, uh, because you are, you are speaking English, that means you are an international language user, so uh, you got to be, okay, you need to be frank, don't be just reserved, serious, looking, you know, um, don't want to don't wanna talk or shy, you know, and feel ashamed, maybe you're in fear, you're afraid because you think maybe I'll make a mistake, so it's not good. So don't feel like that, okay? You don't need to feel like that, okay? You don't need to think that way, okay? Because it's a language and um, you have to learn it, okay? We don't come with the language or anything in the world, you know? We don't come, right? We just come as a man. We just bo we are born as a man or a woman, right? So, um, we don't come with the language or culture or anything, you know, in, in this world. So, we all, you know, learn here, okay? So, there's nothing to be afraid or uh, to feel shame about, okay? It's just a matter of time and then matter of interest and then you got to just, uh, you know, learn. So, that way uh, you can really help yourself, okay? So, I hope that's a helpful guideline I provided you, okay? So, um, think about, okay, now let's, uh, um, for today I don't have much time, I guess. So, um, now let's um, uh, think about a few expressions, okay, uh, for this level, okay. So, when you meet somebody, okay, how do you introduce yourself, okay. So, for example, you met, uh, you're meeting uh, an international, or you happen to meet, let me say, okay. So, you happen to meet uh, a foreigner uh, on the way, uh, okay, uh, somewhere, okay, in your circle or in your lifetime, somewhere, okay, and, um, okay, so that person is asking, okay, saying, excuse me, so trying to get at your attention, okay, uh, you will say or she will say, excuse me, so that person, what is, uh, that person is saying by, excuse me, okay, so, E, X, C, U, S, E, excuse me, okay? So, what is that person saying, okay? So, what does that person mean, okay? So, the person is just is trying to get your attention. Simple, very simple, okay? So, that person is trying to get your attention, okay? But in some context, same, okay, this may be, excuse me mean, oh, uh, forgive me. Maybe that person made a mistake. That person made an error, maybe, okay, a mistake, maybe, okay. 
So the person is trying to just apologize or say sorry, okay? Feel, feel sorry about it, okay? Just express sorry, okay? So, so two, two meanings, you see? So number one is excuse me means just trying to get attention, okay? So you are uh, somewhere, you, you, you are in some office, okay? And you don't see anybody around and then you just, uh, you just say loud, okay? Excuse me, is someone there? Hello, okay? So it's just, uh, okay, uh, you, you try to find uh, people, you are trying to trust the people, right? So it's a very simple thing, okay? So excuse me. <clears throat> and you use it to so uh, get uh, attention of people, people's attention, okay? You're trying to get people's attention, okay? So saying, excuse me, okay? And you got to say it properly, okay? Excuse me, okay? How do you say? Excuse me. See, how do you say, okay? And then, but if you say, oh, excuse me. So that is different, you see? Context is different, you see? One, you say, uh, excuse me, okay? You say, excuse me. And then, so that's you are trying to get attention of people, okay? You want somebody uh, to look, okay? You are there, you are there, okay, in some situation, okay? Uh, you are somewhere in office maybe or uh, different, whatever, you, okay? So you are just trying to get attention of somebody there, okay? So uh, you are just trying to get attention, okay? That's clear, right? Excuse me, excuse me. Hello, somebody, okay? So you're just trying to get attention. Now, same word, okay, same phrase, uh, same phrase, okay, this is what we call phrase, okay, two words that together. So, excuse me, so this is, uh, in another context, this is, excuse me, okay, so you happen to step, okay, you happen to step somebody's leg, okay, foot, I mean, okay, so somebody's foot, you happen to step in, and then you say, uh, excuse me, okay, so that is, you are trying to s express your sorry, okay, Oh, I'm sorry. It's like that, okay? So, oh, excuse me, okay? So, somebody is here, okay? And then I just happen to step, okay? Uh, with, with, with the leg. Or I happen to dash, okay? Push somebody, okay? I just happen to push somebody, okay? Uh, you are in a crowd, okay? And you are running, okay? You are running, you are running. And then while you are running, and you happen to just, you know, knock somebody, knock. You know, somebody fell down because of you. Okay, and then what are you going to do that time? And people will get mad, you know. The person will get mad, you know, get angry, right? You know. So what are you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do at that time? So you got to say, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right? You got to say that. Either that person will bang, okay? So that person will bang you. So you need to be careful, right? So how to keep yourself safe, okay? That person is angry now. You know that you 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 happen to knock him down, right? So that person will get angry, mad at you, right? So what do you do? So you got to say, excuse me, I'm sorry. See, that way you cool down that person's emotion, right? That way, okay? So you need to be very smart in that, okay? So that no one will hurt you. Nobody will hurt you, okay? Nobody will attack you. The person will not attack you because of that, okay? So the, in that situation also you use, excuse me. Okay, and next, uh, another word, let's think about, okay? So, please. Okay. So, when do you use please? Okay, when do you use please? Well, you use please, okay? You use please, this word, if you need to make request for something, okay? So, excuse me, you are in office, right? And then, um, now you need something, okay? So you got to request, okay? Uh, excuse me, I need uh, this. I need that. Uh, excuse me, uh, I need you to write uh, a recommendation for me. Or I need you to sign here. Please sign this paper, okay? Uh, please, uh, okay, somebody knocking your door, okay? Somebody knocking. And then you say, okay, just standing, the person is just standing outside, okay? And then uh, you don't feel good, the person is just standing outside. And then what do you got to say? You got to request him, please come in. Please come in, okay? So it's, it's, it's a polite way. It's a polite way of, you know, uh, it's a polite way, okay? Of, uh, you know, 
um, showing your manner, okay, your good manner, okay. So using please and must in English, okay. Um, without the please, you can't, okay, use, okay, English. I mean, you can't be a a, a a gentle speaker. Let me say, okay, a gentle speaker. If you want to be a gentle speaker and uh, earn good to credit or good respect, okay. So good, you, your manner should be, uh, you know, shown, okay. You you, you must. Uh, Present yourself, you know, as a civilized person, as a gentleman, you know, gentle woman, gentle man, gentle girl, gentle boy, okay? So you got to uh, use that word, okay? Please, please. And if you want to make somebody really, uh, you know, do your job, okay? Uh, you need somebody to do your job. In that case, you must use that, please, okay? So that way, please, please help me. Please guide me. Please help me understand. And maybe sometime you, 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 if you, if you believe in God, okay, then you say, please help me, oh God, right? If, if you are a believer of, you know, Almighty God, right? So you say, please, okay? And so that way, so that shows you are humble, okay? So that's why you are humble. You you are you you have a humility, okay? And uh, you 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 really need help, and uh, the person need to help, okay? So that's very important. The manner is very important in English, okay? The Western culture, okay? Especially in Western culture, okay? Please is must, okay? If you don't, if you're not using please, and you know they don't feel good, you know they don't feel good, okay? They don't feel good. Okay, next word I have. I don't have much time for today. I think. I have a few minutes so left, so, uh, okay, another, another word, okay, so please, and then, uh, thank you. Okay, so these three <laughs> expressions, okay, for so today, I, I think. So now, when do you say thank you? Well, when do I say thank you? Well, when somebody, okay, helps me uh, with anything, okay? So I got to say thank you. Why? Well, it's just, uh, you know, it's a manner, you know? It's good to be thankful. It's good to be, you know, uh, it's good, it's always good to thank people. Because uh, when you say thank you, they feel good. So it's a good manner, okay? It's a good manner, right? If you don't say thank you, mm, you know, people don't feel good. If, when you are speaking in a Western context, okay, if you uh, don't say thank you, okay, uh, the boy or the girl, okay, you are in problem, okay? So, you won't get much cooperation from people if you don't say thank you because that uh, shows that you are not really, you know, a human, you know? <laughs> A human, you know, human, human being, you know, civilized, you know, human being, they, they must be grateful, they must be thankful, you know, because they are human, you know, they are superior, you know, superior to all, you know, other creatures, right? So they need to be, they must be thankful. And, and, and thankful, why thankful? Because, they, uh, you know, they are in the world, right? <laughs> so they are living in a beautiful world and they are living in a, you know, a rich body, right? So... Uh, and they are, you know, the most intelligent, you know, being on earth, okay? The most intelligent being on earth. So they must be thankful, they must be happy, they must, they must be grateful for whatever help they get, okay, from people. So, uh, okay, so thank you. you. You must always say thank you when you get somebody as, um, uh, do something for you or somebody gives you something, okay? Uh, so, for example, um, okay, you are in a family situation. For example, okay, you are in a family situation, okay, your mother or your parents, whoever, okay, prepare dinner for you or lunch for you or a breakfast this morning for you, maybe, okay, after this class, maybe you're going to have a breakfast, maybe, right? So, um, and there is something, okay, tea or coffee or, uh, okay, uh, some uh, breakfast, maybe, you know, some substance, okay, whatever, bread or whatever, okay. And uh, they bring to you and then give you and then, okay, your sister maybe, your mother maybe, or whoever maybe, okay? So, what do you say? Do you say, thank you? 
Or do you say, oh, I want? <laughs> what do you say? Okay? So you got to say, thank you. Well, even if you don't want, you must say, oh, thank you. Uh, I'm full. If, if you are not feeling to eat, okay? So you must say, oh, thank you. I'm full. Okay? So you don't want, you don't want to eat. Okay? You're full. You already had something. Okay? So you got to say, thank you. Because uh, that is the care you are getting, right? That is the care you are getting. So you must say thank you. And this is very important, okay? As an English international language user, you are an international language user, okay? So you got to say thank you. Okay, now finally, for today, before closing today's lesson, okay, for this morning, the intermediate or upper, upper intermediate levels, okay? So this morning, uh, let me... Uh, revise okay whatever I talked okay let me revise quickly okay uh, I will do it every day okay revision so that those people who join later they will also be benefited okay those people who will join uh, okay tomorrow or, 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 or the whole day here so that it may be helpful for to them so I'll be revising it so okay so why do in the third number question number one I asked you was why do we need English today? Okay, why do we need English today? The answer was because it is an international language. Okay, without English, we cannot deal with the international context. Okay, it is an international language and without it, we cannot deal uh, with the international context. Okay, you can't. So you can't handle cell phone. Okay, because everything comes in English, right? And you can't uh, really, um, you know, handle the computer. Uh, because it is, uh, you know, in English, uh, all the, you know, language and format, all things, you know, settings, all everything comes in English, you know. And uh, when you are traveling to uh, other country, okay, wherever, okay. So, and if you don't have English and you can't communicate, you can't talk and, you know, the immigration will not allow you to fly because you are not able to communicate. You are not able to, you know, um, understand and uh, understand other, understand, you know. Help others understand you, you okay? So, um, uh, you can't, you can't really run your life, you know? <laughs> you need English, right? So, that's why. So, what is, okay, uh, what is language, I said, right? What is language? What is language, okay? Well, language is, uh, it's a means of communication, right? It is very simple. It's a means of communication, okay? It's very simple, you know, right? Uh, okay, now, how can I speak fluently? The other question was, how can you speak English fluently, okay? How can you speak English fluently? Well, I said, take interest, okay, be familiar with the English words, okay, spelling, okay, meaning, okay, and proper pronunciation, pronunciation, okay, not pronunciation, okay, pronunciation, pronun, okay, pronunciation, okay, pronunciation, the British accent, okay, more, okay, so pronunciation, be familiar with the, okay, uh, uh, proper pronunciation, okay, and grammar, uh, you need to have knowledge of grammar. I mean, your mind uh, need rule, you know, rule, you know, uh, so, and enjoy, okay, you must enjoy, you know, I hope you are enjoying this morning, right, so early morning class uh, at home, and what a privilege, huh? you must uh, thank somebody, I think, especially, you know, God, you know, who is uh, giving this opportunity, I think, uh, I will say, you know, uh, thank God, you know, I, I thank God, that my God, okay, I thank Him uh, for uh, for giving me this idea, you know, <laughs> He's just telling me to do it, you know, so I'm doing it, okay, nobody, no human being is telling me to do this, okay, it's uh, my God who is telling me to do it, so to help other people who are in need, okay, so um, if you are really in need, so I hope you will continue, uh, I don't know how long it will go, uh, how many weeks it will go, but it will go. So prepare yourself well, okay, for that. And it's scheduled properly, okay? Time, okay, be on time. I'll try to be on time. Sometimes you may not have a net. Uh, Sometimes you may have, a, you know, problem, you know, data, you know, all those things. Um, well, uh, try to, you know, uh, solve those problems and uh, be on time and, uh, you know, with your device, okay? So, and other friend also, you can just um, invite them uh, where you are and then they can also really help them myself with English, you know, and uh, it's good, you know, early morning, and you have maybe nothing to do, uh, especially early in the morning, uh, except your exercise thing, right? So anyway, 
uh, now next thing or oh, next question was what is grammar okay I said grammar right so I, I simply said uh, well grammar is uh, uh, the rule of language okay the rule of language so you need a rule right uh, to run a family you need a rule to run your life itself you need a rule right to run a society you need a rule uh, to run the country you need a rule to run the world you need a rule to run the universe you know God has a rule, okay? So there is a rule for everything, okay? Without rule, nothing, you know? If there is no rule, there will be mess, you know? And if you don't follow the rule, it will be mess, okay? So you can't really uh, communicate. You can't really help yourself and help others. So you need a rule, okay? So it's a rule of language, okay? So, um, and that helps articulate, uh, you know, uh, sentences, right? So um, that's why. Okay, so grammar is um, very... A must okay important okay so uh, okay uh, the helpful guidelines quick review okay so listen to the teacher carefully I said okay listen okay listen when you are talking to somebody listen carefully okay pay attention okay uh, somebody is talking to you and you you are with the cell phone maybe handphone maybe okay and then uh, the person is talking to you and if you're not uh, paying attention, you are not listening carefully, that shows that you're not, you're not you know, showing interest. Or sometimes it may, the person may also understand as you are not showing respect, okay? And that's, that's danger, okay? So uh, when other people are, you know, speaking to you, okay? So you must listen, you know, carefully, okay? Don't uh, let them think or let the person think that you are not a good person, you know? I mean, you're a good person, right? So you have nothing bad in mind, right? In your heart, right? But, uh, you know, sometimes because of your carelessness, sometimes, you know, so people may think, oh, you are not good, like, you know, that, uh, they may judge, you know, uh, so it's not good, right? So listen carefully, okay? Uh, when somebody is talking to you, you got to listen carefully, okay? That's a good discipline of life, right? Now, okay, uh, number two, uh, you need to make note of everything, okay, you are learning. Make a note of everything, okay? You are learning, okay? All right? So, make note of everything. And then, uh, next, uh, a new, ex uh, or, or note of new expressions, okay? I said to you, right? Hi, how are you? Are you good? Hmm. Oh, fine. Thank you. Ah, uh, great. Uh, how is that pizza? Oh, wonderful. Oh, yummy. Okay, like that, you know, expressions, okay? So, next, uh, okay, number three. Uh, pronounce the words properly, okay? Uh, these are guidelines I'm providing you, okay? Uh, so helpful guidelines, okay? To um, help, uh, you know, speed up your English, you know? And uh, observe the context carefully, okay? Whatever the context. So sometimes, you know, word you don't find meaning, you know? Exact meaning, you know? So how to understand that? So you need a context. You need to understand the context. And by context also you can understand the meaning, okay? Of the word, okay? And then be frank to ask questions if not clear. So ask questions if not clear. Don't say you don't understand. You are you are not getting what you know. You did get what you know you were supposed to get. And then um, you know um, you're not clear about it. And and if you don't ask questions, so that's not good for you, right? So other person say it clearly, maybe, but you didn't get to maybe. Okay. So uh, for example, I'm teaching you English here. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you know then you know you just waste the time right so you got to ask questions okay you got to ask questions don't waste anything okay wasting is not good right so ask questions okay if you have questions just comment okay you can write in the comment okay uh, maybe you if you like this and you can say thumbs up or if you really love it and you can just so hard you know uh, you know uh, you know how to use right uh, the devices right so, you know, you can use all those comments, expressions, okay? And feel good, okay? So, this much for this morning class, okay?